tell y'all something. I don't leave my house without one of these. I have one of these in every bag, period, anywhere I go, because you just, you just never know. Just because if someone walks in behind me, I want them to be like, oh my gosh, she smells amazing. Like. <laughs> to my channel i'm sorry if this is distracting i just got my doordash order in and i'm starving and i keep having to redo this video so hopefully this is the last time that i have to do this video okay um so this is something different for my channel i don't usually do content involving hauls or reviews but i wanted to try something different just to see if you guys like it so if you do give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe all that good stuff but for the girls who know, we know, but for the ones who don't know, Bath & Body Works is having their semi-annual sale right now. I believe it's going to be for this whole entire month. So if you're watching this video in June, go get you something from Bath & Body Works, okay? We're going to start off with, well, I'm going to show you all the things that I picked up with the exception of two items that are being shipped to me. And it is the Pink Flamingo Water Glow Candle Holder as well as the new pineapple one that they had on sale on the website so that's gonna get shipped to me everything else um, has already gotten here or I picked up in stores so we're gonna start off with the fine fragrance mist and I'm gonna try to go through these really fast it should I should be able to because for the most part I, I believe these two are in the same collection and then um, I want to say Cloud Nine is a new fragrance, but I'm not sure. I just started getting into Bath and Body Works for about a year, year and a half. But I've actually never been able to catch a semi annual sale. But just going off other reviews, I think these two are in the same collection. And then the rest oh, Cotton Candy Clouds is definitely a repackage of Border Walk Taffy. Then you have Cloud Nine and Golden Ocean Pearl. So. Right off the bat, let's start off with Cotton Candy Clouds. Cotton Candy Clouds is definitely one of my favorites. It's fun. It's for multiple different age groups. You can definitely buy it for younger girls, but someone around my age um, could definitely get away with, with wearing this. It's just a really sweet, fun, playful fragrance, which is what I'm definitely all about. If you take a look at my perfume collection, you'll be able to see that most of them have a very fun, sweet, um, note to it. So cotton candy clouds, I'm not gonna, let me spray it into this top. I'll tell you guys, the fragrance notes are spun sugar, pink berries with vanilla. You definitely get that vanilla. You can, I can pick up on the pink berries for sure. It's such a fun, it's such a fun fragrance. I've never had border walk taffy, but I feel like this might be, since this is a repackage, if they are consistently keeping this fragrance I feel like this will be something that I consistently buy and keep in my collection for sure midnight swim and midsummer dream now midnight swim I definitely got it for the packaging it is a beautiful packaging but I was expecting not to love the fragrance only because it was getting a lot of slack online with the reviews that I saw for it but honestly you guys Midnight Swim is definitely up there for me. The fragrance notes are Blue Waters, Peach Flower, and Fresh Coastal Air. And I would definitely wear this to a day party, especially if there's water involved. Because that's what it's giving. It definitely does give, you definitely do immediately think of the beach when you smell this. But like, you, the people attending this, beach event or just the beach in general it's giving it's giving private beach it's giving nobody's on this beach but me okay and it's just giving luxury for sure it definitely is giving luxury now midsummer dream midsummer dream gives us like i said the same vibe the same vibe as midnight swim and if they're in the same collection that would make a lot of sense because they do smell different from each other they do this one might be even more of a perfume so this might be beach party 
Not, no, because I don't want to say beach party. I don't get beach, honestly. I don't know why I'm saying beach. I mean, you do because you get, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, sunscreen-ish. But this is giving, this is giving daytime pool party, and this is giving daytime party. <laughs> daytime pool, daytime party. Like, yes. That's the best way I can describe it. This has fragrance notes of salted pear, fresh nectarine, seaside lily. Yeah, you guys, I think for me, the best way to describe a fragrance is just to describe where I'd wear it, how I'd wear it, what event I would go to if I was wearing it. So definitely daytime pool party, daytime party, cotton candy clouds. I would wear this anywhere where there are kids, because kids would go crazy for this. I would wear this anywhere it's like a um, fair, a fair, a festival, um, stuff like that. And then, so then we have Cloud Nine and Golden Ocean Pearl, right? So Cloud Nine, you know what? Cloud Nine really, it really shocked me because I was expecting Cloud Nine to be sweet and playful like cotton candy clouds and honestly it gave me the same vibe like I said these four right here are giving me the same vibe it gives me it definitely gives me luxury with the side of playfulness like because you definitely get that you definitely get the lavender breeze and the morning dew drops you definitely get that It's like a, a luxurious, fruity scent. If you like fruity scents, but you still want to smell expensive and like money, Cloud Nine. And I mean, just look at the packaging. It's to die for. And then you have Golden Ocean Pearl, which I believe is a brand new fragrance here. And one thing about online packaging is like my fragrance mist that came through online packaging are like, they sometimes get damaged. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can definitely see that. You see that? And I don't like that because I definitely buy for the packaging. So I, I like my stuff to be nice. I might just go in and do like a switcheroo just to have a better looking bottle. But the rest of them look perfectly fine. They look really good. Golden, Golden Ocean Pearl. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. Golden, let me tell you guys straight off the bat. Bergamot Breeze. I love me some bergamot. Vanilla Orchard. Orchard? Orchard? Okay, we just don't act like I'm saying it right. And Golden Amber. Oh, anything with amber in it. Anything with amber in it. Sold. Now, yeah, I can definitely smell that bergamot. This is giving more of a warm, a warm, like, night. I would wear this to a nighttime dinner. I would wear this to the movies at night. I would definitely wear this to, it's a, it's like a, um, this is for like, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm struggling. This is perfect for, say you were going to an all day event, right? Say you go to a pool party that changes to a nighttime. So it goes from daytime to nighttime. This is the nighttime. <laughs> Y'all, I'm ridiculous. But this is, this is the nighttime, but this is anything. And it's, you know, with such a light, bright, airy, uh, packaging it, it definitely gives you daytime vibe but it's it's more of a nighttime scent for me and it's super warm and again has a very luxurious like the rest of them just very luxurious which is crazy and so all right so that will be it for my fragrance mist I'm gonna go ahead and put these away now and then set up for my body creams and we're gonna go over the body creams, the candles, and 
I also have some room sprays that I want to go over with you guys. So let me go ahead and just reset up and then I'll be right back. And just like that, we're back. So I have in my hand the Black Current and Cedarwood body cream from their aromatherapy line. And I've been hearing the girls in the reviews saying that they wish they would drop new stuff for their aromatherapy line. I just got into their aromatherapy line maybe back in October. We're in June. I got into their aromatherapy back in October. And there's no way I'm getting through all that stuff anytime soon. They had such an amazing sale in their aromatherapy line. I got so much stuff. And I ended up just getting this black currant and cedarwood body cream. Well, I got, well, actually, I'm sorry. I didn't get the body cream. I got the lotion. They were having a deal on their aromatherapy lotion. And I literally got everything. And black currant and cedarwood was one of them as well. So I remember I was like, I'm just going to put this in my bathroom. I don't know why. I think I just love the packaging. It was October. And wash my hands, put this, the black cedar or the black currant and cedar wood lotion on my hands, and I was blown away. Claps to Bath and Body Works for their aromatherapy line because honestly, I think it is a beautifully done um, line. And so when I saw this, you guys, I found this at the outlet for $3. And this has, well, it just says that it's inspired by the coolness of winter. Enhance your aromatherapy routine with the uplifting, okay, uplifting blend of black currant and cedarwood essential oils. Honestly, you guys, I'm smelling my hands because I just put it on my hands. It definitely is a winter vibe. However, it's, it's warm and, and it gives like more of a nighttime vibe as well. So this will probably be something I pull out if I'm going out with friends for the night. Enough about that. Honestly, if you have not tried this, the black currant and cedar wood, please try it. It definitely does give that woodsy-ness to it. So if you don't like woodsy scents, then probably pass on that. So we have Midsummer Dream. We already went over this in the fine fragrance mist. We are also have the Golden Ocean Pearl that we um, went over in the fine fragrance mist as well. So these are no different. I tried them both. Sometimes people say that the creams are different from the fragrance mist. I've literally never experienced that with Bath and Body Works at all. Um, but like I'll get people say that the shower gel smells a little different from the fragrance mist or the fragrance mist smells a little different from the body cream. Um, I don't know what be going on with y'all stuff, but all my stuff is the same. It don't matter if it's the cream, the, um, I don't really get shower gel from Bath and Body Works, but yeah, the point I'm trying to make is all my stuff smells the same. So we'll just go ahead and put this stuff away. And let me take this out. Take these out so I don't forget to go over them with you guys. These are the room sprays. We're going to get into that. But um, for the body creams, I also picked up a backup of Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is one of my favorite bath and body works fragrances at the moment it has pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom and vanilla bean and warm amber and oh my gosh i told you guys anything with amber in it i i like it or if i didn't tell you guys anything with amber in it i'm buying it because it smells freaking amazing every single time paired with that vanilla bean oh gosh i would have loved to been able to get fairy tale in a perfume some of the girls were able to some of the girls were able to um, lock down the perfumes for fairly cheap during um, semi-annual. And if you're one of them, I'm, I'm extremely jealous. But um, I do have this in the mist now. I was going to say. Wait, do I? I do. I do. That's what I have. That's what is coming. So I do have this um, pastel. I hope I'm saying that right. Pastel Skies. I do have this in a fine fragrance mist, but it's coming in my online order with the two Water Globe candle holders that I got. And I forgot to mention that. But I ran into this. I originally had Confetti Daydream and I exchanged it for Pastel Skies. And I got the lotion in stores and I'm going to get the fragrance online. But oh my gosh. And so, I mean, obviously looking at the packaging, you can tell this is from the same collection. <sighs> You guys know I love Cloud9. And so Pastel Skies has soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how to describe this. This is very warm. 
I'd probably wear this more in the nighttime for sure. For sure. Would I wear Cloud Nine in the night or day? Day. Cloud Nine is giving day. Pastel Skies is giving night. And where would I go wearing this? Dinner. Date night. It does give a little bit of fanciness to it. Not so much fun and playful. So if I was just going to kick it out of a friend's house, I wouldn't wear this. But date night. It's giving date night. So there we go. Those are all the body creams that I got. And so now we're getting to towards the end. We're almost there. We're almost done. I picked up three candles. We have hibiscus waterfalls right here this is pineapple mango that i also um have in this golden butterfly candle holder that i picked up as well and then berry waffle cone my favorite is definitely pineapple mango it smells literally like pineapple mango candy their candles if it has any fruit listed on it just know it's going to give a candy scent and then hibiscus waterfalls is giving it almost smells like a fresh cleaned house. A fresh cleaned house in the summertime. That's what it's giving. And it does have a bit of a beachy. It definitely has like a beachy vibe. So if I was going on vacation to like Aruba or something like that, this is the candle I'd bring with me. This is like an everyday summer candle. It is amazing. Berry waffle cone. Berry waffle cone smells like my phone here oh my gosh <laughs> y'all berry waffle cone smells like it smells like if you were to walk into an ice cream shop but this ice cream shop also sells funnel cakes and cookies and cupcakes and everything everything sweet it smells like a ice cream slash bakery and it is so good oh my gosh so these are the candles and then lastly to wrap this up y'all we are getting there we are getting there we have midnight blue citrus these are their um room sprays and being a flight attendant is how i got put onto their room sprays let me tell y'all something i don't leave my house without one of these i have one of these in every bag period, anywhere I go, because you just, you just never know. Even if you just go to the restroom just to take a little tinkle, I'll still spray this just because if someone walks in behind me, I want them to be like, oh my gosh, she smells amazing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Even if I just go in the bathroom to wash my hands, like it don't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a part of me behind. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we have fresh cotton. I don't think I really need to describe how that smells. It literally gives you laundry. It gives you like, and these are so strong, y'all. Actually, I don't think I want to spray these. These are so strong. These are so strong. I will give you guys the, the notes that are in them. Fresh cotton has soft cotton, lemon zest, fresh lily. And linen and lavender has crisp linen, lavender sea salt, fresh air breeze. And then Midnight Blue Citrus has Juicy Tangerine Beach Grass and Orange Blossom, which is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and, and spray the Midnight Blue Citrus because I haven't smelled this one before. But I want you guys to also check out my what's in, what every, what's in my everyday bag and what every girl needs in their summer bag video because I'm going to have more of these and they're like the best. But anyways, let's go ahead and smell this one. So being a flight attendant, all the flight attendants have love it all the flight attendants have these because we also use them in the lavatories when passengers do what they do and then also just to keep our like galleys like fresh and clean y'all this smells so good this is giving fresh but it's giving juicy and fun which is what i really love because in the room sprays although i still like like um like a strawberry pound cake and stuff like that if i'm using a room spray i'm trying to freshen up and liven up the fragrance, um, what am I trying to say? I just, I want, I'm trying to leave a fresh, clean, 
no behind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling to say this, but if I'm using a room spray, it's because I'm trying to freshen up the, the place. So I like to go for the room sprays that give like a fresh and clean um, tone. And all three of these do it. Out of all three of them, even though this is the only one I sprayed right now, like I said, I have sprayed the other two. I know how all of them smell. Midnight Blue Citrus. If you trust, if you trust my judgment thus far on everything I've said, Midnight Blue Citrus is the way to go. So, okay, girls, I hope you guys enjoyed that haul and review. I feel like it was so long, but hopefully it wasn't too long for you guys. Let me know how you guys feel about my hauls and reviews and if this is something you want to see more of um, in the future. So, okay, I'm going to go eat now. Love you guys. Bye.